Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Sports Blitz here, and we're back with an NFL Mock the Mock today. Guys, today we are checking out Charles Davis's um, mock draft. He just put this out, I believe, six hours ago is what I saw. Um, either way, it was really, um, really recent, so I'm interested to see where it goes. So let's go ahead and, well, check it out. So... First overall pick, he has Trayvon Walker going to the Jags. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying that this pick is impossible. I'm not saying it necessarily won't happen. But I personally just don't see it happening. Um, I I feel like all of the uh I feel like all of the smoke of Trayvon Walker going number one overall is just smoke. I think I think around this um time of draft season there's so many rumors that get thrown out there that we really don't know what's true or not um now Trayvon Walker is really really good I think he you know I I easily think he's a top five edge rusher in this class um he's kind of up there with Jermaine Johnson and KT for me um those of you who have watched my channel for a while know how high I am on Jermaine Johnson so He's kind of up there in that range. I don't know if he's going to go number one overall, though. So that's interesting. But um, I wouldn't call it a bad pick. Number two, he has the Lions going, Aiden Hutchinson. I mean, that that makes sense. If, if, if the Jags don't take him, I think the Lions will. I think that makes complete sense. Three, has the Texans going, Evan Neal. And really, I don't think this is a bad idea. Um, I think he's better than both tackles that the Texans. Well, okay, they do have Laramie Tunsil, and Laramie Tunsil is a solid tackle. I guess I should say Evan Neal's ceiling, I think, is higher than Laramie Tunsil's. But either way, I think he's going to come in and instantly be better than uh, than Titus Howard. Um, I don't know... If this is necessarily the route the Texans are going to go, though, especially with guys like um, like Sauce Gardner still on the board with KT on the board, uh, even Kyle Hamilton. I, I, I just don't know, um, but I wouldn't call that a bad pick Four Jets going Sauce Gardner. I mean, makes sense. This is another pick that. You know, you, you kind of debate, do you do you go with KT? Do you go with Jermaine Johnson? Um, I don't think this is a bad pick at all. Um, I think the Jets could go with either Gardner, Hamilton, or one of the edge rushers. I'm personally not a huge fan of them taking a tackle. Um, I know a lot of other people who do mock drafts have them going tackle. I'm not a fan of that idea, to be honest, but... Um, I do like the idea of them taking Sauce Gardner if he's if he's available right there. Five, the Giants going icky. I mean, makes total sense if if Neil is off the board, or even if even if Neil's not off the board right here, icky is a strong consideration. Um, I'd say if Neil is off the board, I'd a hundred percent go with icky. If Neil is on the board, I'd still very strongly consider Icky. Um, he's really, really talented and can definitely be a franchise tackle for the Giants. Um, six, he has the Panthers going Malik Willis. I I like this pick. I will say right now, I'm a Panthers fan myself. I love Malik Willis. I know he's raw. I know he's, you know, got a lot to improve on. But... He's got a talented skill set. Um, and I mean, I'm not super confident necessarily in Matt Rule to groom him. But you look at what Ben McAdoo has done with quarterbacks. Um, I mean, he had he, he had Eli Manning the 2012, I think, in 2013 seasons. And he did pretty dang well as an offensive coordinator. I think he could actually groom Malik Willis to be pretty solid, actually. Um, in fact, honestly, I'd be kind of interested to see how he'd even do with Darnold. Um, I'm growing to be a bigger fan of, of Ben McAdoo, but 
this mock isn't about Ben McAdoo. It's about Malik Willis. Um, and I think it'd be a great, great move. Um, he's, he's my QB one in this class. And really, I'll be honest. I don't think this class is as weak as everybody says. I think people listen to the media too much and don't watch the film for themselves personally. Um, and I think it's a, it, I'm not going to say it's the best class of all time, but it's a, it's a solid class. <clears throat> Seven at the Giants going KT. I I really like this pick. I really like this pick. Um, usually when I do mocks, KT's off the board by now, and you know it ends up being like Trayvon Walker right here. So, I mean, considering they can get KT at this point, absolute steal. I think he's going to be a beast. I think people are calling it quits on KT too early. I I don't I'm not sure I buy all the smoke that teams aren't really in on him. Um, I really like him. Number eight, he has the Falcons going Jermaine Johnson, and as a Panthers fan, this ter this terrifies me. I love Jermaine Johnson. Those of you who have uh, you know again watched my channel for a while know how freakishly high I am on this kid. If he can reach his potential. I genuinely think he can end up nearly an identical player to like Von Miller, Brian Burns. Very similar um, skill set. I think he's going to be a better power rusher than Brian Burns. I think he'll do a little bit better in the run game than Brian Burns. Um, but man, I, I love this guy's talent. I He, he overall, man, he... He's up there. He he might be my number one edge in this class. I I'm a bit, I'm a huge fan of him, but I'm gonna stop rambling on about about him. We've got other picks here. Um, then the Seahawks going Derek Stingley. Um, I wouldn't call this a bad pick by any means. I mean Stingley's an absolute freak. Um, I mean, really going back a couple years ago, he was talked about as being a future number one overall pick. So. I wouldn't call this bad by any means. I think it's actually a really good pick. Um, where I get a little bit confused, though, is I think they may consider going with, like, Charles Cross, um, since he's on the board right here. I think they'd want to start rebuilding that offensive line for whoever their future quarterback ends up being. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's, that's interesting, though. Um, I do like the pick, though. Stingley is a stud. 10, he has the Jets going Jameson Williams. Um, I mean, I've, I've made this pick a few times, actually. Um, I would say if Garrett Wilson's still on the board right here, though, you got to take him over Williams. Wilson, I think, is quite a bit better than Williams. But he's not a bad receiver at all. He's... He's probably going to end up being the best deep threat receiver in this class. Um, the The thing that worries me is his boom or bust potential is so high. Like, he could end up being just a freakishly good receiver and being the steal of the draft. Or he could end up being, you know, another Meikle Hardman. So, <laughs> I don't really know. Um... I think he's a solid route runner, has pretty solid hands, um, but will be a really good deep threat. So it'll be interested, interesting to see how he does. But I'd personally take Garrett Wilson over him. 11, the commander's going Garrett Wilson right here. I mean, yeah, I'm usually into, the, into Washington going, you know, with Stingley, but he's not on the board here. With Garrett Wilson on the board, I think that's an awesome pick. I like it. 12 Vikings going Trent McDuffie. I think it might be a couple picks early for McDuffie, personally. Um, honestly, I could see that I think the Vikings could honestly get away with trading back a few spots for him, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's like a terrible pick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how to feel about that one. Um, especially with guys like Kyle Hamilton, Jordan Davis. Um, you know, guy, guy, guys like that still on the board. It's kind of debatable, but speaking of, speak of the devil, we've got Kyle Hamilton, um, coming up for the Texans right here. Um, I mean, 
there's been more and more talk about him falling out of the top 10. I don't know how realistic it is. I think it, I think he very well still could go top 10, but I mean, it's, it's not impossible that he falls to 13. Um, if he does fall here, I don't think he falls past 13 though. So it'll be fun to see where he goes. Uh, 14, um, Ravens going Tyler Linderbaum. Sorry, I'm scrolling all over the place. Um, I like this pick. I think he'd be an upgrade over, I believe it's Ben Powers, I believe is their center right now. Um, so yeah, I do, I do think he'd be a big upgrade. I do really like Tyler Linderbaum. This is another case though, that I think the Ravens could get away with trading back and still taking him. Um, I mean, there's guys like Andrew Booth still on the board. Like I said, Jordan Davis. Um, there's there, there's other players, you know, good on the board. And even if they were set on Tyler Linderbaum, I think they could trade back a few spots and still get him. But 15, Eagles going Jordan Davis. Love this pick. Best player available. Jordan Davis is a freak. Um, I know there's so much talk about, you know, him being... Just a just a two down player. I don't think he's gonna be that in the NFL. I I think he's gonna get better at pass rush, be a three down player, and teams are going to absolutely love having him. Um, sixteen Saints going with Chris Olave. I like the pick. Best available receiver. Um, this off season I've grown to be a bigger and bigger fan of Chris Olave. Um, very similar to Garrett Wilson, actually. Very, very fast. Very, very good route runner. Maybe the best route runner in this class. Really good hands. Um, I think he'd be dangerous in the Saints system. 17, Chargers going Charles Cross. I've made this pick a few times. Again, I don't know how realistic it is that he falls this far. But if he does, I think he'd be an absolute freak. Him and Rashawn Slater as their tackles... That's just, that's beautiful. So I like it. Um, 18, Eagles going Drake London. And I'll be honest, guys, and I've said this in a couple videos, I'm not a huge fan of Drake London. Um, those of you who follow my Twitter, which if you're not following Twitter, make sure to do that. Um, I believe I have a link to it in my description, so make sure to go follow that. But uh, yeah, I posted on Twitter either yesterday or two days ago, that I think Drake London will be the bust of the draft. I really do. I'm not a huge fan of Drake London. I don't think he's fast enough. Um, yeah, he'll be solid as a contested catch receiver, but I think that's all it's going to be. And corners are getting more athletic. Corners are going to, you know, be able to help defend those jump balls. Um, so I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how he does, but I'm not a huge fan of Drake London. I'm just being completely honest. Um, 19, he has the Saints going Devontae Wyatt. Best player available. Um, I really like Devontae Wyatt. Has some really good pass rush skills. He also looked really impressive at the Combine. Those Georgia boys this year were insane. Um, but yeah, super strong, solid in the run game. Like he's just, he's really good. I think, I think that'd be a good pick for the saints. I think though, with like Trevor Penning still on the board, I think it may be a little dumb to pass up on him just cause the saints kind of have a hole there after letting Tron Armstead walk. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't, I don't dislike the pick. Then the Steelers going Desmond Ritter. I think this is a very possible pick. Um, I think Ritter, if he can reach his ceiling, he'll be pretty good. But I personally prefer Kenny Pickett. I think he'd be a better fit for the Steelers. But I don't know. This would be, this would be an interesting pick. 21. Patriots going Andrew Booth. I like the pick. Um, those of you who have watched my videos know I'm pretty high on Andrew Booth. I, I usually have him going about 14 or so to the Ravens. So, yeah, solid pick. You know, good JC Jackson replacement. 
I like it. 22, Packers going Jahan Dotson. Um, now, before I make a judgment, I got to think of what other receivers are still on the board. You got Traylon Burks, who I really like still. I'm a big fan of Burks still. Um, I mean, yeah, Drake London's off the board, but I don't like, I'm not a big fan of him. Um, shoot, what other receivers are still on the board? There's Sky Moore, but I like I like Dotson over Moore. Um, so yeah, this probably is best receiver available. Packers definitely need some receiver help. I know they signed Sammy Watkins, but I definitely think they'll go after another receiver. So I like it. Dotson plays a lot big. He plays a lot bigger than he really is. Like he's only five nine, five ten, I believe, about one hundred and eighty pounds. But he's a really good route runner. I've I've made this comparison a few times. He is like a shorter DeAndre Hopkins to me. He's just so good at going up there and attacking the ball. Um, and he's fast too. Like he's he's got it all. He has possibly the best hands in this draft, to be honest. Like he's just he he's so talented. 23 um cardinals going Traylon burks i'm i don't really understand that pick to be honest i mean they already have deandre hopkins they re-signed aj green um they have uh rondale moore i don't see them i don't see them taking a first round receiver um i think right here they got to take like Kyrie lom or they could even take an edge, to be honest. I just, I don't see receiver. I'm not a fan of the pick. And I, this is coming from someone that does really like Traylon Burks as well. 24, Cowboys going Kenyon Green. I would prefer Zion Johnson, personally. I like him a little bit more than Green, but Green is really good. Um, I think he still has some insane potential. Could end up being a Pro Bowl guard early on in his career. Um, but again, I'm just a little bit higher on Zion Johnson. Not a bad pick at all, though. 25, Bills going Kyler Gordon. Don't hate the pick. I know the Bills need some sec some corner help. I was going to say some secondary help, but they it's really just corners. I mean, they got Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer. So, yeah, I, I would probably, if I were the Bills, I'd prefer... Kyrie Lom right here as well, but Kyler Gordon's really good too. Um, you could even consider like Roger McCreary, but Titans here going with George Karloftis. I think that's a solid pick. Um, they're another team that could honestly probably go with Zion Johnson though, get their Roger Saffold replacement, but not a bad pick. Uh, there he is, uh, Bucks taking Zion Johnson. I mean, I think it makes full sense to me i mean they lost alex cap in free agency and ali marpet retired so yeah there you go zion johnson would be a huge upgrade right there 28 packers going trevor penning now i'll be honest i don't know how realistic it is that he falls this far but if he does that's that's a huge hit for the packers i really like trevor penning super physical 29 chiefs going christian watson this is one that I haven't really considered too much, but I kind of like it. Um, he was really, really fast at the combine. Um, if I remember correctly, he he ran the um, sorry, he ran the gauntlet. Um, I could I couldn't think of what it was called for a minute, but he ran the gauntlet. And if I remember correctly, um, he looked really good, really smooth while doing that. Um, I think he'd be a really good player for the Chiefs. Sky Moore is another player that could con they could consider here, though. 30, Chiefs going Boye Mafe. I also really like Boye Mafe. I could see him possibly slipping into the first round. Um, they could also consider David Ajabo right here. I mean, if Ajabo does get through his injury just fine, he'll, he'll be a stud. Um, it's all just a matter of how serious is that injury going to be long term. 31, Bengals going Kyrie Lom. 
I mean, I, I like it. Eli Apple wasn't great this last year, and if Elam is still on the board at this point, I love it. They could even consider Roger McCreary, but yeah, really good pick. And hey, I've made this pick a few times too. Um, Kenny Pickett going to the Lions. I, I like it. You know, Lions don't have to trade up or make any crazy moves for quarterback. They just Kenny, Kenny Pickett falls right into their laps, and I like it. I think he'd fit really, really well with Dan Campbell. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a solid mock. There's a lot of picks, though, that really kind of make me scratch my head a little bit but um yeah i don't think it's terrible i think it's a i think it's a pretty solid mock um let me know what you think of it in the comments section below um you know if it if he made a pick that you want your team to make you know definitely comment that as well but uh yeah guys make sure to smash that like button subscribe and again follow the twitter in the description below and uh i'll see you next time Later.